Hi there investors and welcome back to another video from myself, Dan, I'm the mentor at New to Property. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the type of properties that I'm personally investing in. I'm going to give you some numbers behind the deal and I'll even give you a quick tour around before we close the door for the final time before the tenant moves in in just two days time. So this property that I'm in at the moment, um, I've just spent the last month getting it ready to be tenanted. When I got the property, it was in fantastic condition. It was in a great condition, but I just wanted to do a few tweaks and, and make sure that it's absolutely lettable. And of course, ultimately, that it's not going to cause me any problems, any issues or have me coming back to the property with anything small and niggly to fix in the future. So let me give you some numbers behind this property. First of all, the advertised um, amount on this property was actually a hundred thousand pounds. Now, in the area in, in my patch where I'm, where I'm actually investing, that's a steal all, all day long. So this property of £100,000 instantly grabbed my attention. There was a tenant in it at the time. Um, and like I say, there was a few bits and bobs to be tidied up. The carpets weren't great. The walls, walls weren't that clean. And there was a few little bits and bobs um, hanging off that needed fixing, but small attention, nothing really major. So we've got an advertised price at £100,000. I actually managed to negotiate, um, get the price down, and I purchased it for £95,250. So getting a good five grand off there, the advertised price, which as we all know, know now, it doesn't matter what it's advertised at, it actually matters what it's worth. Now I'm a strong believer that this property is actually going to be worth £110,000 now. As of today, a month later after I've purchased it, that's just the way that it's looking from the maintenance jobs that I've done, from a lick of paint, new carpets, and just, just tidying the place up, etc. But from the research in the area that I've done, and if you want to work out how to do that, tune into some other videos, or make sure you keep an eye on our Facebook page to work out how to work out the true market value of a property. So the renovations on this particular property have come in at a grand total of £750 for me. Now that includes new carpeting in the lounge, the stairs and one of the bedrooms and also having the gas boiler checked as well. So serviced and checked on my gas boiler. The rest of the work that I've actually done myself, so there hasn't been any labour costs, it's just been material costs. And the grand total of that, as I said, comes to £750. Now this property is going to rent out. I know it's going to rent out because somebody's moving in in two days time. It's going to be renting out for £600 per calendar month. And I've currently got the property on a two year fixed deal. So two year fixed at 295%. Now that actually gives me, gives me a 12.7% return on investment. And that also includes factoring in 10% for any maintenance and voids that might happen in the future. Do I think there's going to be any? This is a desirable area. It's a fantastic property, but I wanted to factor that in just for peace of mind and just to ensure that my numbers stack up. So this property is actually going to be generating me a passive income. I can be sure of that. I can be confident in the fact it's going to be passive because I've been through every inch of the property. It's fully functional, nothing wrong with it whatsoever. So there shouldn't be any jobs for me to do in the near future. We're talking maybe a year, two, three years down the line when I might need to pop in and do something small. But it's going to be bringing me in a passive income of £311.22 per calendar month. Now, who wouldn't accept that? And remember, taking into the factor as well that this place has got capital appreciation on it. In the future, it's going to be a lot worth a lot more. But remember, I purchased the property at ninety five thousand two fifty, and already it's worth one hundred and ten thousand. So when I go to refinance in two years' time, I already know that I can get my half of my money back out. What a great deal! So, do you guys want to follow me, and we'll have a little bit of look around the property to give you an idea of the standard that I get the properties to before I then give them over to my letting agent and put a tenant in. So first off, here we are in the lounge. Now there was minimal work to do in the lounge. Already the walls were plastered and it was looking really, really good. So the work that was actually done in here, um, there was a, a, a gas meter showing. So there was no boxed in, no cupboard in the corner there. Putting a cupboard in the corner there just makes it a lot more aesthetically pleasing. It will make it far more comfortable for the tenants sitting in their lounge, relaxing in their lounge 
And ultimately, what my aim is, is to create a really nice, enjoyable space, somewhere where you know a tenant can relax um, and make their own and make their home. Because if they actually enjoy the space and they want to stick around, the longer they stay, the obviously, obviously, the far better it is for me. So within this room, glossed the doors, glossed the skirting, painted all the walls. I actually just opened up the fireplace there, so there's a vent just inside to keep the air circulating capped off the top of the chimney so there's no rainwater coming down. That's often a spot where you'll get some damp and get, get some issues created. All you need to do, open up the fireplace, make sure the air's coming down and just make sure the rainwater isn't actually coming through the chimney. So within this room, new carpets, fresh paint um, uh, on the walls and also on the skirting board. Um, Bob's your uncle, looks clean, looks fresh and smells absolutely brilliant and clean in here as well. So here we are in the front bedroom, bedroom number one. Great size bedroom, great size double bedroom. Um, 11, what, 11 foot by 11 foot or so. So really nice open space. Um, you'll see there's no nasty fireplaces or anything in the chimney breast there. We've just got a radiator to the side, which again is nice and clean, looking good. Um, all the skirtings have been nicely glossed. Doors been glossed, new door handles, um, actually on the bedroom doors and all doors throughout. Um, we've got curtains, some great curtains up at the window, um, a nice lampshade, and again, just whitewash the room, making sure that it looks really tidy, really fresh, really nice, and really keen, uh, clean and attractive to the tenant for when they move in. So into bedroom number two, um, as I mentioned before, this is a two bed property, um, two double bedrooms, really good sized bedrooms. And in this one as well, we've got a cupboard. So within that cupboard, I've carpeted the bottom, painted the walls, and put a nice rail across as well to make it a decent space, somewhere nice where the, uh, the tenant can hang their clothes. Um, windows been cleaned around the edges, inside, outside looks good. Some nice curtains up, um, and also we've got up there a lampshade that will match the curtains. So walls have been whitewashed, the skirtings have been uh, glossed, the doors have been glossed, we've got a new door handle on. There was a little bit of plaster work to do in here, but it was covering. It was nothing special, nothing to bring anybody in for at all, just patching over and then painting over, and now you can't tell the difference. So we're in a nice, really good, spacious room, really nice for the tenants. So just looking out into the garden, you can see that it's really manageable, really nice and easy for the tenants to be able to look after. You'll notice there on the tree stump that I've just taken a few branches down, that tree was getting a little bit untoward and a bit a little, little bit unruly. Um, so I took a few of the branches off there, had a bit of a clean up. Um, that table and chair were actually here when I purchased the property, so I thought it'd be nice just to leave that for the tenant. But you can see that things have been trimmed back, things are looking good, and it shouldn't be any real difficulty at all for the tenant to be able to maintain it, or for me to come in the future um, and just had a quick rip around and a quick tidy up between tenancies. So here in the kitchen, this is actually the majority of the work and the time has gone on within the kitchen. So what we've done here is, there was actually a sideboard popping up just next to the sink here, which I'll show you in a second, um, and it was blocking the second cupboard, cupboard door. It wouldn't be able to, you couldn't open it at all. So we've taken that out, um, completely filled the wall, whitewashed the wall down, um, made it look good, filled all the holes, got rid of all the cracks, etc. Boxed in the pipes that were underneath it, also over under the stairs where there's like one of those traditional under, under, under stairs uh, cupboards. Completely whitewashed the wall, cleared everything out, made it look really nice, really good, good space for the tenants to be able to put their bits and bobs in. Now we did have one of those old concertina doors that kind of folds when you open it, which I'm sure you guys, if you've seen them before, you know they're an absolute nightmare. They never open properly, they're always a bit of a problem. So we took all the fixtures and fittings, took everything off it, um, and have actually put hinges on either side, so it now opens like a, a normal standard bedroom cupboard door, which is far better, um, far better for the job that it is. 
What I've also done in here is actually painted all of the cupboard doors. They were pre-painted when I got the property, but they were just a little bit grubby, a little bit messy. So I've glossed them. Um, they're looking really fresh now, looking really good. The floor was fantastic. It was great in here. The lighting's um, was all good, the radiator, everything's pretty much good. It was just a real sort of clean up job, a freshen up job, and making everything look a little bit newer, a little bit fresher, and a little bit cleaner. and into the bathroom. Um, I got really lucky actually with the bathroom, very little to be done. Door got glossed, window got thoroughly cleaned, all the insides of the windows, the inside, the outside of the window. Gave the shower, shower a really good cleaning, cleaned the floor, and um, just boxed in a few of the pipes down the bottom um, that were kind of outside of the walls, just making it look a little bit untidy um, and not overly aesthetically pleasing, but a little bit of boxing, not a great deal of work, not a great deal of effort at all, and certainly no money spent, that's for sure. So I've got really lucky with the bathroom. It's a great bathroom, um, nice and big, nice and clean, nice and fresh, um, and I'm sure the tenants um, are gonna be really, really happy with it.